Next year, the Rutland Centennial Hall will turn 50 years old. And for many, 50 is the new 40. But those at the Rutland Park Society Board believe that's not quite true for the community hall and are looking towards its future. Our floor is 36 years past its prime. Windows are still exactly the same windows as it was built. Actually, everything in this building is from 1967. The electrical is old, the bathrooms have no wheelchair access, the hall's air conditioner doesn't always work, the building is in distress, and it would cost in excess of $1 million to rectify. So a plan is needed. Renovate the hall to the best of society's abilities with the existing funding. Number two, replace the hall with a new structure and maintain the existing uses. And number three, replace the hall with some new uses and complement it with some maybe commercial space that could be used to support the ongoing operations. The board believes public input on the Centennial Hall is critical and will be holding a public open house in May. Nothing is being done until we get input from our community as to what they would see, like to see happen here. The board believes the need could be as much as $5 million if they were to rebuild the hall with a commercial space. Uh, remodeling is quite a, an expensive cost, so I think we just need to do the exercise as to what our other options are, and uh, I'm a firm, firm believer we will go find the money. Currently, the Rutland Centennial Hall has two daycares that provides for 20 children. It also hosts events such as weddings and the Sunday Community Market. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.